cuteness, let's be good friends. Well, that's really getting it backwards. What I want you to buy into now and tonight is a mindset that we're going to build a foundation of friendship. Now, friendship is really interesting because friendship says, I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you and I'm always going to have your back. And with that kind of security like that, that someone really is your best friend, based on the fact that I love Jesus, you love Jesus, and when that common bond, that common uh, foundation of Jesus Christ of our friendship, that maybe out of that friendship can grow romance. But sometimes it's painful to get there. See, those hormones are really interesting. These hormones want things to go fast. Seek you first. Then take your time. Don't get in any hurry with this. Did you know that uh, only about 10% of people marry their high school sweethearts? So you've, those of you that walk down the hall every day and you're like checking everybody out, like, oh yeah, there goes God's will. Uh -huh. and, and all of you that are doing that like getting a whiplash and you know, you come to church on Sunday and you need prayer for your neck because you're always looking around for somebody. Let me just tell you tonight, Hang on, because that person's probably not the one you're going to marry. Maybe. Sorry, I always, I always break a lot of hearts when I tell them. <laughs> God, I know they're the one. Well, you know, statistically, probably not. So right now, seek God first. Don't seek somebody else. Seek God. Become the right person. Don't look for the right person. Become the right person. by seeing Let Him have control of the future. Instead of you figuring out feeling like you have to go make everything happen. There's a thing called loneliness. And if you haven't felt it, and if you're not in the middle of it right now, you will be at some point in time. And loneliness tends to die, drive us to desperation that we feel like we need someone. We need someone to come in and, and complete this emptiness that I feel inside. And the reality is you're not looking for someone, you're looking for Jesus. Because the reality is this, that loneliness is not meant to devastate you and to drive you to go out and just find someone. Loneliness is meant to drive you to aloneness with God. You hear that? So that you can seek Him. And in seeking Him, you can figure out what your purpose is in life. And you become all that you can become in Jesus Christ. That will be the greatest gift that you will, you will give to someone someday. That you went through those tests of fire and you trusted God. And you let Him do inside of you what He wanted to do. The Bible says when we go through those tests of fire, that there are two types of building materials that we find. It says we find building materials made out of wood, hay, and stubble, or gold, silver, and precious stones. So when the fire comes, the wood, hay, and stubble the things we wanted to get rid of anyway in our lives that we really didn't like, we just weren't strong enough to get rid of them, those things are taken care of and are gone. But the gold, silver, and precious stones, those things that are good, those things that are godly, those things that make you into His image, those things only become that much more pure by waiting. So we can continue to come and talk to students about this important subject. I thank you for every student that's here tonight, every parent who's taking time out of their busy schedules to be a part of this important night. So I ask your blessing on this youth group, on these parents, on these students, on these families that are represented here tonight. Put a hedge of protection around all of them so that they can be all that they can be in Jesus Christ, all you've created them to be. Help them to find that purpose. Help them to be patient. Help them to be disciplined. And help them trust you. Build stronger families and stronger churches. Build a stronger city, state, nation, and world because of what's happening in this room tonight. We give you praise for all you're doing count it an honor that you've allowed us this time, this church tonight. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen. Amen.